All right, guys, welcome back to more PS5 Master League. We are back today with game four of our preseason fiasco or tour, you could call it. And in the transfer market, we are actually going to do something today, guys. We are actually going to do something. First of all, I'm going to show you the list. I've got a list of players that I've started to note down now. Um... Why I haven't been doing this for years, I don't know. I think I used it briefly around like season two, three or something like that. But um, yeah, I could have been building up a massive list of players over the years and I just, for whatever reason, haven't done that. But yeah, I've added a couple more. Well, actually a few more that have been suggested here. We've got Sam Samuels here. Um, now, I don't know if this was the right one, but look at this guy. 23, he's Jamaican and he's a, uh, well, he can play left back or right back, basically. That is good stats. I just came across it, so I was just like, you know what, I'm going to note that down. We've got Zetterberg here, which was suggested. Only 21. Um, his stats are getting better. So, centre midfield, attacking midfield, you know, just put it on there. Jahinho, of course, because, you know, it's Jahinho, man. Jeez, like, <laughs> you know, that's another one. And we've actually made a uh, swap for Larm here. Um... So let's go on to the expected earnings. So we've got like the Cafu and the Marshall thing coming in. Uh, but Lam here, uh, we decided that we're going to try and offer Motta for him. And uh, we're going to offer uh, 1,000. He's, he's, he's at PSV, sorry, currently. And um, salary 700. I almost feel like we had this guy at one point. Or we tried to make an offer for him or something. I feel like we did, but I don't think we have. It's a weird one, that. Uh, and Oscar Cordoba here is a goalkeeper, guys, because last season I kind of thought that, um, like, Buffon, he's a good player, but he did make some errors last season in the one season that we have had him, and he's 35. We can say that we did have him for a year, and but why not try and trade him for someone else? So I looked at the future potential for goalkeepers, and there was this guy right here, this Oscar Cordoba. He's playing at Fiorentina currently. His stats as a 22-year-old are very good. Uh, response is 93. Agility is 82. He was one of the best-looking up-and-coming goalkeepers. So I was like, we've got Marshall, who's 28. We've got um, Czech, who's the main in goal, who's 31. So it would be nice to get a younger goalkeeper in and start training. But we had like a Khan at one point. It didn't. We've got, we've gone through quite a lot of goalkeepers and it hasn't sort of quite worked out. Although we have said you know we could buy them back. Khan was available, but I didn't think it was quite right. And I just came across this guy and I was like, you know what? Let's go for it. So those are the two that we're going to try this week and see what happens. So, uh, yeah, it's not a totally dead transfer window. Let's go to our next game. It's against Getafe. See you there. And here we are, guys. Getafe is our next opponent. So, uh, yeah, a little bit excited about the uh, transfers towards the end of the episode today. You know, I've got a, you know, I've got a little bit of hope about what could happen. But, uh, yeah, anyway, we're going to play in our third kit today because uh, we don't really use it enough, and Getafe have an away kit, and it's pre-season, so it doesn't matter. So we decided we're going to do that today. Schwartz and Babel up front. Yeah, Babel's playing this one. He played, which game was it, where he nearly scored at the end of it? I can't remember which one it was actually now. But uh, yeah, he's uh, making a uh, starting position, I guess you could call it, today. Um, because, well, he needs time, doesn't he? Like he's uh, He's probably going to get a new number as well, actually. Um, before the uh, season starts because I think 49 is too high of a number for him he's earned something a bit lower I believe now so that's probably going to happen and uh, we'll uh, see what happens is that really an offside wow okay fair enough uh, Shimizu starting on the left hand side we've got Rooney down the middle of the um, midfield we've got Mascherano in DMF um I think Cannavaro starting this one as well alongside Company. We've got Cafu playing. That's over the bar. Marshall is the captain. Did I mention that? Um, left back is Clichy. And I think that's all I need to say. So, uh, yeah, another run out for everyone. We've got Roberto Carlos on the bench again because, um, you know, I like to give these players a run out um, and stuff. And Schwartz with a pathetic effort there why not <laughs> why not 
What a game, though, he had in that first game back, though, against uh, Portsmouth, wasn't it? That was an incredible match uh, for him. I was like, oh, we, uh, do we get rid of Schwartz? Oh, and then he scores four goals, of course. Of course, Shimizu, the, the man. Oh, he's been with us since season two, halfway through season two, I believe. Man, and we're in season 10 now. That, that kid has come a long way. It's insane to see. It really is. It's just, uh, you know, he's seeing these play. <laughs> what was that? I can't believe that was. It, it was. Wasn't expected to happen. I don't know what the keeper was thinking there. It should have been a goal for Schwartz, that. Like, man, it should have been a goal. Did I mention Schneider? He's on the right side of the midfield today. But it, it, the, the angle was awkward. And, yeah. We'll just... That's all we'll say on the matter, I guess. That's not going to make its way through to Babel. Here's Bramba. Nano. Oh, that's Cafu's fault. He's way out of position there, Cafu. So, uh, yeah, um, you know, it's, like I said, it could be a blank preseason, but hopefully, maybe not. Maybe we'll get one or two players in. Like I said, Motif Alarm seems like a good thing. That's, you know, that, that would be good. I know what a lot of people are probably thinking, but to be honest, Alarm, I know we've got Cafu, because um, he's like, he's playing, like, he can play like left back or right back Alarm. So it's a good option, to be honest. Like Motta can do that as well. Um, but, like, you know, we've got Ramos and we got Cafu, but in case there's an, a problem, there's an issue or whatever, he can fill in, and he can rotate, he's a good rotation, and his stamina is really good as well, I mean, he might even just go into left back or something, I don't know, but he's a little bit younger than Risa, <laughs> so it's an option, but we still got Clichy as well, uh, we was on about getting rid of company, oh, I mean, that is fair, what a free kick. Marshall's going ape, but you know what, you've got to give it, it's the captain, he's the right back who's just put that in. Fair dues, man, fair dues, look at this. Oh, I don't know what, oh, what is that dive by Marshall to be fair though? Oh man, he didn't even try, he didn't even really try, did he? <laughs> oh my, like he's going to lose that armband soon if he's not careful. <laughs> But, um, yeah, here's Babel potentially. Nope, it's not going to be. But we conceded against the African All-Stars. It was a really sloppy goal as well. Like, Czech should have done better on it. We should have defended better before it got to that point anyway, but, yeah. Find ourselves 1-0 down here with half an hour played. I mean, a, a good free kick, you can't sometimes stop. Although Marshall, I think, should have done better there. Here's Nano, and it's nicely stopped by, I think, Cannavaro. It's still in play. Oh, it's at the cost of a corner, unfortunately. Cannavaro, though, with a good sliding tackle to stop that one. The uh, corner's come back out. And here's Nano again. That's blocked by, I think that was Mascherano. So, uh, yeah, uh, squad numbers will be... Uh, they're always done the uh, the week um, after the eighth preseason game. So, yeah, we uh, won't be uh, looking at that until then. But, uh, a lot of players on red form today. Um, and that's why we're basically playing them. A lot of people, uh, you know, probably think... Rooney should be directly up front. Yet again, we're going with the AMF. Well, we're going with the AMF for him today just because Babel and Schwartz were on red form. We were like, yeah, we definitely want them guys to play. We want to get some uh, game time in there for them. So, there is that. There is that. We are very much struggling to win the ball back here. Here's Schneider, though. And he's lost it. That didn't last long, did it? Oof. We are very much struggling for possession. Uh, 
Uh, they're, they're playing it around nicely, to be fair to Getafe. Uh, like, when we picked them for a pre-season game, it was mostly based on the fact that I don't think we've ever played them before in this Master League. So it was like, yeah, you know, it should be a... Well, not a, a, not an easy win. Guarantee, nothing is guaranteed, but... You know, you change the team, and uh, you can expect different things to happen. Here is a good opportunity from Babel. Oh, what a save. I believe it was on target. Our best chance of the game here so far. Babel's back in there, is he? Maybe not. It's back out, and that's going to be half time, is it? Ooh. Might be uh, one last chance here. Definitely not going to shoot from there. <laughs> little, uh, little too far out. Cafu in a lot of space here, though. To be fair, it's Cafu. Oh, and it's a goal. One-one before half time. Nicely done. Babel with his uh, account opened, I guess, for the season. Do you count it, guys? If it's a pre-season game, do you not count it? I mean, it's sort of a. It's a pre-goal. <laughs> you know, it's not in a proper competitive match, but it is him kind of up and, up and running. Look at this. I mean, we exploited that there. We, you know, Cafu in a lot of space. You know, Babel running in towards the back post. Just pop it across, see what happens. You know, we got a goal out of it. I think Gatafe should have done better at marking Cafu there. Uh, Shimizu looking disappointed. I don't know why, because it's only half time. But <laughs> that's what it is so far. I sort of realized that, um, like, Marshall was going mad at, at everyone after that goal was conceded. But it's kind of like, well, you know what? You didn't dive properly enough for it. <laughs> you know, you could have done better yourself before anything. But, uh, yeah. I don't know. I mean, he he's got to set that wall up, man. He's got to he's got to tell them. But yeah, anyway, we're back off here. Second half, no changes. I think the team looks fine. We was gonna consider playing Kaiser in this game uh, as DMF, but we went with Mascherano because he's on the higher form. Um, Kaiser might come on. We might put Mascherano into like um, central defense, you know, just to give it a run. I don't know, maybe. Here is Babel. Oh, he scored! How has that gone in? Are you serious with that? How has that happened? That was just a, a pop in the dark there and just a hit and hope situation. <laughs> it was out, actually outside the box as well, just. It's managed to find its way into the far corner. Things have turned around here. Look, this is just kind of... It's bending away. Goalkeeper. Goalkeeper cannot get down to that. It's a little too far away. It, it bends very nicely. And uh, that is 2-1. And it's Babel. Yet again, he scored both goals. Come on, the man. The legend of last season is uh, doing it again. Here's Rooney. Ooh, brought down. Free kick. As I, uh, I don't, I don't know what happened there, but that took a long time to load in for some reason. I don't think I've ever had that happen before. I thought the game had actually crashed. That's why I, I didn't edit that out there. I'm not going to edit that out. <laughs> I'm going to show you what happened there. Game has never taken that long before for me. It's a little strange, but things happen. Here's Babel. Here's my Shirano. Shibizu's making a small run here. And he's taken off the ball. That's going to be a free kick. And is there anybody down here? See, look at all that space there. That could be exploited. But uh, not to be. 
uh, what is happening here? It's Cafu. It's Schwartz. It's Shimizu. It's Schneider. Schneider again. He tries to go for the cross into the box. It doesn't happen. It's Cafu once again. He manages to... Oh, he manages to get his cross in. Babble hat trick out of nowhere. Well, how about that? That is unbelievable. That is really... Babble has gotten lucky, though, you have to say, because the first goal, he managed to just get in there and Cafu managed to put the ball in. And Cafu's put the ball in yet again here. He's uh, assisted him twice. The second goal was just a hit and hope situation, and the third goal, the defender just stumbled and it allowed him to get the free header. So, a, a, a lucky hat trick, you uh, we might call it. Oh, is that? Uh, I was going to say because it's in the box, so um, it's, uh, it's against Katafi, though. Fortunately enough for us, Rooney's been uh, shoved off the ball there. Here's Clichy, it's Shimizu, it's Babel. Oh, nothing came of it. Uh, we are going to do what we said earlier about moving Mascherano into a centre-back position. We have done that now. And we're going to bring Kaiser on into DMF. So, yeah. Just wanted to give it a test drive, see what happens there with that. Here's Schwartz. Ooh, brought down. Free kick here. Uh, I think it's... Rooney to take it, but uh, yeah, Schwartz come off for Torres. Torres, uh, another high form player today. Again, talks of him leaving. Shibizu, and it's Torres, and he's just come on, and he gets a goal for himself. They, uh, they kind of left it open a little there. He's 29, going to be 30 next season, Torres now. But, uh, I love the, uh, the the long sleeve sh uh, version of the shirt, actually. Looks uh, quite nice. Very nice. Back to Shimizu. Shimizu providing an assist there. And then uh, just lots of work. But uh, I think Shimizu and uh, Cafu very underrated in this match, you might say. I think they've both played well. And ooh, not too Donovan quite there. Here's Mascherano. Here's Babel. Here's Torres. Ah, oh, I was just waiting for the run of Babel there to put him in space. It didn't happen. Here is Torres, it's Babel, he's got to go back, here's Rooney, here is, uh, maybe not Schneider quite, Torres chasing the ball there, you're allowed up to seven substitutes in these matches, but um, we've made three, we're just going to stick with three I believe, because uh, I don't see the uh, any reason for using um, any more to be honest, the, the players that I want out are playing, so... Here's Schneider, it's Cafu, and going to get a throw-in out of it. Cafu's played really well today, extremely well. And it's Torres, and it's Babel, and it's number five. And a fourth goal for that man now. Yeah, definitely a lower number is deserved. <laughs> Just 
just nicely worked. Schneider here puts it into Torres. Babel is in space there. Just has to hit it. And uh, the keeper wasn't quick enough down to it. you got to give it to uh, Getafe though. I mean, they had the lead in this game. Just we uh, managed to come alive in the second half, haven't we? Almost thinking the referee was one of our players there. <laughs> I think I talked about that not long back. And I said, uh, sometimes that can be annoying. And here is Rooney. And it's Torres. And it's Cafu once more. Oh, Cafu brought it down there. And uh, Rooney has got the free kick here. And it's Torres. Oh, it somehow crept in for number six. He's not been on the pitch long, but that's a couple of goals for him. Obviously, Babel's going to be the man of the match, surely. <laughs> I don't think you can take that away from Babel to do it. There's sometimes you get that little bit of luck there. I want to see what happened. Did it come off the keeper and then back off Torres again? It somehow managed to find its way in. So that's a little bit awkward. Yeah. Yeah, a little bit awkward there. Torres takes the shot right there. It, it hits him again. And, uh, well, it bounced nicely and in. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. That will end off today's game. That was more than I was expecting because when Getafe took the lead, I thought, oh, maybe we might end up winning this like 2 3 1 at most, maybe 4, but not that many. Uh, a little luck, obviously, you have to say, but uh, yeah, good game. Game records, Babel, man of the match, it had to be because if it wasn't, there's something wrong. Only an 8.0, maybe an 8.5. I would have given him myself, probably. Uh, Shimizu with a 7, Schneider with a 7, Cafu with a 7.5. What a legend today. In fact, we had Babel with an 8, and then Cafu with a 7.5, his second best player out there. And I agree with that. I think he really, really was. I think Shimizu was probably my third best player. Then maybe it followed up with Schneider. Um, <laughs> Torres got an 8. Really, Torres got an 8. He came on in like the last, I don't know, 10 minutes or whatever and got an 8. I'd have given him like maybe a 7, maybe a 7.5 at most. But yeah. Okay. Well guys, we've had some success in the transfer market finally. We've got Lam and we've got Oscar Cordova. Both one has left us and so has Motta. So uh, yeah, no offers for any of our players. But Cafu and Marshall have broke down again. What is happening there then? They're wanting more than um, what's been offered. So, uh, yeah, let's take a look at that. Like, I don't know what's going on with these guys, man. They wanted 883 and they didn't accept that. So, I don't know. I'm going to have to go for 900, maybe. I'm going to try that and see what happens. This is ridiculous. What is Kafu doing to me right now? Um... And what is Marshall doing to me as well? Uh, I'm just going to... I don't know. He's been with us a long time. You know what? Let's up it to, say, 520. Maybe it's because of the contract years or something. I don't know. But I'd rather I'd rather kind of nail uh, Marshall down for, like, another five years if possible. So let's do that. See what happens. Okay, so we're going to introduce... Um, uh, couple of changes to squad numbers um, right now. Uh, Maldini is going to go to number 22 um, just because Lam is going to be number 21. So yeah, welcome Lam and you've got that number and also um, Oscar Cordoba is going to be the new number 13 for us. So uh, yeah, we are going to revise numbers again at the end of the season um, if needs be. But uh, yeah, 
that's what's going on. Um, because I think a lot of people would probably say you should give it give Maldini the number three. That would imply that we're going to play him a lot more. But Heitinger is with us. And like, for me, I don't know about you guys, but the lower the number, the more important the player is. Right now, Maldini's still regen and he's still sort of learning. Whereas Heitinger's, you know, got that more experience. But I don't know. I mean, it, it could change. Um, probably will over time. But uh, yeah, we're going to go with that for now. So yeah, that's some good uh, success so far in the transfer market. Even if that was just our entire, you know... Uh, transfer window as it were you know i'd probably be happy with that so uh yeah buffon has gone back he's gone back to italy actually ironically <laughs> he's gone to fiorentina um he's got a one-year deal there so you know the thing the thing about buffon is though we, we'd probably end up keeping him you know for like years and he wouldn't regen but like if he's going to go to Fiorentina and his contract runs out it's you know like th th there's going to be a chance that he might start to regen and then you know he he'll get better again and we can maybe pick him up again in like a few years or whatever I don't know yeah but uh yeah um because it, it just sort of hit my mind the other day of we should probably try for a goalkeeper and uh, we've been through quite a few of them and we've always rotated and, you know, th th there's very few, you know, players on our team that actually stick around for a long time. You know what I mean? Um, but then again, we, maybe there's more than you think. I mean, we've got like Risa, Gerard. I mean, Iniesta's been around for a long time now. Mutu's been around for a long time. Czech. Um, who else? Mafio has been here since, what, season two? Fabregas has been around for a long time. I think he was season four, Fabregas. Uh, Schwartz, well, he's been and gone with Shimizu. You know, these are like the core players kind of thing that have stuck around. Some have gone and then come back again. But yeah, um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know, guys. That's what I was looking at. I was looking at Ixagi, actually. But, uh, you know, in fact, he's, he's not even... Now, what am I doing? What am I doing right here? Remove that. It was add to list. I'm just going to add everyone I think, you know, that could be potential for the future to the list. I've got Figo. What is he? 20? Figo? Man. You know, it's all kinds of crazy. Um, like I said, I'm just giving this a little look. Up to negotiate. Uh, I think we just checked that, didn't we? I mean, uh, Nuri Sahin is still on there. Again, he's one I'm still debating about. I'm not entirely sure. 100%. I mean, maybe we could, like, swap for Mascherano or something. You know, like, Mascherano's going to be 30, I think, next season. Let's I mean, he could play DMF. He could play AMF. It's a potential. Potential. Adriano. It wasn't Adriano. Uh... One that's, uh, you know, you guys have been suggesting for years. I mean, swap Adriano for Rooney? Potentially? I don't know. You know, it's it's something, isn't it? Um, I see Colacini's on here, and I'm like, I'm so tempted to try and swap him for a, for a company, and I'm just like, do I, don't I, kind of thing. Chivu's on here. Probably go for Colacini over Chivu myself, but yeah. Um, I'm not going to bore you guys too much, uh, and I think we're going to leave it there for today, and I will come back to it next game. So uh, yeah, next game is going to <laughs> ironically be against Fiorentina. Can you believe it? We're going to play them, and we might even see Buffon against us. That'd be ironic, wouldn't it, guys? Comment, subscribe, and share as always. I think this has gone on long enough this episode. See you next time. Take care.